everyone, and welcome to episode 3 of Glamour Geek, and this is going to be my first unboxing video. And I am going to be unboxing the 1 8 scale Louise figure, the gothic and punk version by Alter. I got her on Ami Ami, pre-owned, and she was in BB condition, so we're going to find out how good of condition the figure is in for being in a B condition. And let's just get this started. This is her in her box. Now her box is definitely B condition. There are some definite nicks on the corners and some tape residue on the three sides where the tape used to be. There is no more tape since she was pre-owned. And the top of the box doesn't really lie flat anymore. There's a definite gap. But other than that, just general nicks and tape residue, the box is actually in pretty good condition. And this is a really, really simple box. It's not super fancy. It has a couple pictures of the figure and windows all the way around, even on the top. But it gets the job done, even though it's not super fancy and it definitely doesn't detract from the figure. So let's just unbox her since that is the main thing that I'm sure you guys want to see. Here she is in her blister packaging, just the basic general blister package. There's no more tape once again because she was pre-owned. And let's take her out. She is pretty much completely assembled. It's just the figure and her base. So nothing entirely complex, no accessories or anything like that. First of all, here is the base. It's not too complex. It's just a magic circle with the pegs for her to stand on. But I think it's actually really cute. It's better than just a plain disc. I love the pink color and the magic circle design. And honestly, I can't really think of a super complex base design that they could have used for this figure. So what they did, I think, works. It's cute enough, and it definitely gets the job done and well. now, here is Louise herself. Try and focus on her. She is absolutely gorgeous. Her hair is the biggest thing that drew me to her. I love fluffy, curly hair on anime characters, and it's pink too, which makes it even better. And hair like this can be kind of hard, because a lot of times it tends up looking like a huge blob of plastic, but Alter did a really good job of making it actually look like hair and not just a blob of pink. Her face is absolutely adorable. I love O Mouths, one of my favorite things ever. So that was another big draw for this figure. Her outfit is super adorable. I don't know if I'd call it gothic punk. It's really more made. The only thing that makes it gothic punk is her boots, which I love the way they did this. It is sort of shiny as opposed to the rest of her, which is matte. So it really draws attention to her legs, which is really, really cute and pretty. And there is a ton of amazing detail in these boots. And not a single paint drop is out of place, as expected of Alter and their amazing quality. And of course, everybody expects a panty shot. And even her panties all the way up under her skirt are sculpted really well, despite the fact that you can really even barely even see them. There she is, fastened to her base. She is a gorgeous figure by Alter, and I cannot find any flaws on her despite being in B condition. She doesn't look like she's been used at all. I would not have known she was in B condition if it wasn't for her definitely used box. So yeah, I'm actually really happy with this purchase because I got a really good deal on her. This figure can go for a hundred plus dollars, but I got her for over half of that. So I'm really, really glad I picked her up on Ami Ami. The figure is actually based on an artwork of Louise, which I will insert after I do my 360 view. And this is actually not that true to the artwork. It's definitely inspired by it, but the etchiness was taken out. The figure is not showing off her panties, and her expression is a little less irritated. But honestly, I kind of prefer it that way. It makes her less 
awkward, I guess, to display. However, I would have preferred the more irritated expression because that definitely fits Louise's personality more, but I still love the expression that they chose and the overall paint job is just incredible. I hope you enjoyed my first unboxing video. Let me know how I did and if you'd like to see more unboxings by me in the future. So I guess I will talk to you later. Bye everyone! Tu te